Hello guys, this is Farz and I'm here with another tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit this to this. Look at this. This is the before and this is the after. So let's see. Okay, first I have done some color grading using camera raw. Then doze and burn. Then I have done some hair retouching, then skin retouching, and a gradient map, and then and then levels and effect light. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's see how it works. First, copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J. Convert to smart object and open it camera or filter. Okay, I want to decrease the exposure a little bit 0 0.05 and then 32 for contrast and the minus 100 for highlights and 15 for shadow. then 28 for white and 23 for behazed minus 20 for vibrance okay that's fine then go to curves and input 0 and on and output 29 then another point input 87 and output 87 and then another point 171 for input and 171 for output that's fine then go to blue make a point input 53 and output 49 and here another point 110 in input and output 107 that's fine then go to sharpness and around 20 i think this is perfect and noise reduction luminance around 10 that's fine then come to hue and here yellow 24 and minus 12 for aquas that's fine then go to saturation minus 18 for orange and minus 37 for green Then go to luminance minus 13 for green. Okay, that's fine. Then go to split toning and highlights 62 for hue and 24 saturation. Then come to shadow 351 for hue and 17 for saturation that's look great then go to camera calibration red primary 21 for hue then green primary 21 for hue then blue primary minus 10 for hue that's fine this was the before and this is after press ok when you are done i will give this preset fully free check the video description for the link okay that's fine then i have to retouch the skin 
press Ctrl Alt Shift and E to merge and go to filter photo toolbox and skin finder I am using skin finder you can use any tools that you have select the skin tone that's fine forget the other selection we will mask it that's fine press ok when you are done that was the before and this is the after but I don't want this effect the other areas like hair and background so create a mask press ctrl i to inverse and pick a white brush white soft brush and paint over the skin Look at this. This is the before and this is the after. Now you can press Shift plus Control plus Alt plus E and then copy this layer and go to Blending option and select a screen and bring this point to here and press and hold alt and click to divide this then bring this this will help you to lightening the area i think that is fine look at this now hide this layer and select this layer and go to blending option now select multiply and bring this point to this again press and hold alt and click then divide and like this now press ok then active the layer select these two layer press ctrl and z and then create a mask then go to image and then apply image that's fine press ok and look at this okay now i want to remove the effect from this area or this area i want the effect only in the skin so Pick a black brush and paint. Now look at the skin. This is the V4, totally flat. And now let's see. You can decrease the opacity a little bit. Okay. Now I want to add more brightness to the eyes and the lips. So create a new layer. Then go to edit, fill, and here 50% gray. Press OK and change the blend mode to overlay then pick a DOS tool and now just paint
look at this this is the before and after that's fine it's okay looks great then go to gradient map and select this And here select soft light and opacity around 12%. This is the before and this is the after, that's fine. Then go to levels. Okay, that's fine. And now I want to add a fake light. Pick this color. Color code is F9E4A6. Okay. And pick a soft brush and then click. And now change the blend mode to screen. That's fine. So it's done. This is the V4. And this is after if you like this video please hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe